Hello friends, welcome to WeatherCast. Today's educational video uh, is on one of the most interesting features that uh, one comes across during the southwest monsoon season. This is known as the offshore trough. So today I am going to break down the dynamics of this offshore trough which is highly talked about feature during the monsoon season especially if you are on the west coast. So let us try to see what is this offshore trough and why does it form and how does it help in bringing rain to many parts of western coast of India and of course the western guards. So what is an offshore trough? So the offshore trough is nothing but a dipping wind pattern that is seen in the Arabian Sea along the west coast of India. It is known to bring very heavy rain because the clouds form in the sea because it's a the wind pattern is a trough like pattern which uh, ensures that it allows formation of clouds and once these clouds are formed they are pushed in by these strong westerly winds that is a southwest monsoon feature okay the strong westerlies so what you have is here you have the monsoon trough so this is line this line is the mons monsoon trough and this line that is drawn in purple color is your offshore trough and so this is the dipping wind patterns okay, the dipping winds that is what is called the offshore trough so please don't confuse the first thing is please don't confuse an offshore trough to the monsoon trough monsoon trough is usually present on the land of course it can extend all the way to the sea as well so it extends east to west on the land whereas an offshore trough extends north to south and mostly in the sea Okay, so it's in the Arabian Sea. So let us see how this offshore trough helps in make forming clouds and how does it help in bringing rain. So like I already said it forms on the west coast of India. So and in the last slide I had said that it's a dipping wind pattern. So this is the trough. So any wind if you look at a wind pattern it will uh, exhibit a trough and a ridge. A trough is nothing but the dipping wind pattern and ridge is nothing but the um, uh, overarching wind pattern. So this is the ridge and this is the axis, okay, the central axis of the trough and the central axis of the ridge. So now the wind, so you all know that <coughs> in the northern hemisphere, uh, when the winds are in the anti-clockwise direction, then they are cyclonic because the earth is rotating in anti-clockwise direction. So anything anti-clockwise, anything, any motion that is anti-clockwise is cyclonic and cyclonic systems are known to produce clouds because cyclonic systems help in moisture convergence. So they help in convergence of moisture and once the moisture, moisture converged, converges at the surface, it has nowhere else to go except that it has to go upwards and hence it leads to formation of clouds. Okay. And that's exactly what this trough does. So the trough as a cyclonic circulation or a cyclonic wind and that cyclonic wind ensures that this is a low pressure region and that low pressure will pull in the moisture and help in formation of clouds. Ridge is a completely different aspect. Ridge is basically a high pressure system. Okay, So when you have a trough you will also have a ridge which means it's a high pressure system. Okay, So ridge is not good. Ridge is, ridge is usually, uh, ridge usually means uh, more uh, clear weather or very less skies. Okay. So the reason this offshore trough is created during monsoon is because you have the Tibetan plateau heating and you also have the monsoon trough which, which usually positions itself from east to west and north to south. So it is basically extending from southeast to northwest. That's where the trough is extending, monsoon trough. So due to this low pressure over land, okay, what happens is the winds come in and the winds dip and then they uh, start coming towards the coast, western coast of India. And as these, as the wind dips, then that trough forms and the axis of the trough is here. It pulls in a lot of moisture and results in formation of clouds in the open Arabian Sea. And since the winds are very strong, they push these cloud bands for the interior. So if you see this is the trough and now as once it comes to the land, you have kind of a ridging. Okay. 
So I said, I did say that low pressure is created over land. So that low pressure over land can be anywhere. It can form over Tibet, it can form over, it is a surface flow. Okay, it is a surface low pressure. Whereas uh, these dipping wind patterns are at 850 millibar. So here it is, 850 millibar level. So at 850 millibar level, you have a trough and then you have a ridge. So what will happen is, most of the cloud bands will form here. Okay, most of the cloud bands and the, the, the upper level ridge will not allow these bands to penetrate much interior. Okay, because it will try to stop them. But since the winds are very strong, they can penetrate up to some level and that's the reason why the offshore trough usually gives rains to the west coast and slight deep up to the guard section. Beyond that, the trough has lost its speed or its essence and moreover, the thing, other thing is that you have a ridge now, ridge kind of a behavior. The ridge pattern will ensure that the clouds back, cloud bands are disintegrated. Okay. So I hope it is clear, like the winds that form a trough, which has a cyclonic circulation, which we talked about. And since it is a cyclonic circulation, it also has a vorticity. Okay. So it will also a, uh, it will give a lot of vortex. So these are all vorticity formation because of the trough. As anything that dips and comes up, it can create a positive vorticity so that will that means that we'll have lot of low pressure so what is vortex is nothing but a low pressure so uh, vorticity will aid in convection or it will aid in updraft of clouds so what happens to this trough is it can oscillate north and south so depending on where the low pressure forms it can either be here or it can either be here so it can oscillate north and south then right? that is what is the important feature of an offshore trough. It is, it, it, over the west coast, over the west coast of India, sometimes the trough will be very active over North Konkan, sometimes it will be very active over South Konkan, sometimes it will be very active over Kerala. So what is the reason? Okay, I will try to explain that. So let us again look at it from a more uh, animative point of view. So there is a low pressure, uh, there, there is a monsoon trough. So this is the offshore trough uh, that I have drawn. The winds are dipping and they are creating a trough like pattern so cyclonic circulation will uh, ensure that there is formation of clouds and these clouds will be pushed in by these strong westerlies so in this image what you see is you see the green is very high speed blue is very low wind speed so this is so as so this so this means that and you can see the trough line the trough is very strong over the north konkan whereas the trough is not as strong as here in the south konkan and kerala obviously you can see that the the, the, the trough is gone and the rich kind of pattern is developing here okay so the 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 dipping the dipping pattern has now is is now showing a cone kind of an arching pattern and that's why in this image north konkan is where the act offshore trough is very strong and this is what i told offshore trough will move up and down so it, it will be active here and at some later point of time it may get active here and it the the reason why this off offshore trough moves south and north or north and south is because of the presence of this monsoon trough. If the monsoon trough is in the normal position which is extending from southeast bay of Bengal uh, sorry north bay of Bengal all the way to northwest then this means that the trough the winds will come at a southwest a southwesterly uh, direction so it will create a uh, so it has to come at an angle right so that's when the dip will be happening. So you see the dip so this is the, the trough okay so I hope I'm clear. This is the trough and then later is the ridge so this is what we are talking about like this so you see that kind of a pattern where it is coming in and then it is going to ridge okay. so monsoon trough is one of the important aspects that is imp important aspect is the heating so where exactly does it heat so if it, the heating is much down then the winds will winds will be pulled from the from below i mean the offshore trough will be active here and if the monsoon trough moves uh, south so instead of here if it moves here then the offshore trough will be active in the south konkan and kerala okay and it also depends on where the low pressure is forming so offshore trough is kind of uh, activated by three factors of course the heating over the land okay and if a low pressure forms then it will pull the winds very strongly and that will lead to a very strong offshore trough formation and if the monsoon trough is here and if the low pressure is in the bay of Bengal, north bay of Bengal, then the offshore trough is very active over north Konkan, which is all the way from south gujarat to 
Ratnagiri or even Goa sometimes. If this low pressure system moves down, then and if the offshore trough, if the monsoon trough also moves down, then the South Konkan, which is coastal Karnataka like Mangalore, Udupi, Karwar, and Kerala will get activated. The offshore trough will move down south, and these regions will get massive rains. So everything depends on where this these two are located. So if the monsoon trough is south, then the offshore trough is activated over South India, and if Bay of Bengal is also in the central bay, then again this region will get a lot of rains. But if other, if both of them shift north, so if the monsoon trough moves north, and if the Bay of Bengal low pressure also moves north, then uh, North Kongan will get activated, and that's how Mumbai and surroundings get very heavy rain. Uh, <coughs> So this is the offshore trough dynamics again uh, on an IMD, IMD chart. I have tried to explain the same thing. You have a low pressure over land, then you have uh, the monsoon trough, and you have the Bay of Bengal system active. So that will pull the winds, and that's how you have this. And that kind of this kind of fits in with this picture that I have here. See, so this is the offshore trough in the sea, and this is the monsoon trough. Exactly the same case. Okay, and that's the reason why North Konkan is very active now, getting good rains. Okay, Ratnagiri Belt and Western Ghats, uh, Mahabaleshwar, Lonavala and uh, uh, Mumbai and north of Mumbai is getting some very good rains as we speak, 14th, uh, 13th, 14th of August. And this is also seen from the clouding. So the cloud bands, you see the cloud bands will, uh, will be active where the trough is active. So the trough is not active here, that's why you don't see much clouding, but the trough is very active in North Konkan. And that's why you see a lot of cloud bands in the open Arabian Sea and as the wind speeds are stronger these will get pushed in and that's how you get a lot of rain. In case 2 where I explained that the trough angle matters uh, the monsoon trough has shifted down south and now that's the reason why Kerala up to South Konkan is getting activated you have these cloud bands which will go move uh, towards South Konkan and Kerala and you can see the angle so if I draw the trough angle this is almost straight line whereas this is now angled so the offshore trough is very active in this region and if you can see the wind speeds also they are very active the red is highest wind speed so the wind speeds are very active only up to South Konkan up to Goa okay so when the monsoon trough shifts uh, south then Bombay Mumbai usually doesn't get much rain okay so the offshore trough position the monsoon trough position and the Bay of Bengal low pressure position will try to determine which area in the west coast will get heavy rain, whether it is North Konkan and the guards surrounding North Konkan or if it is South Konkan and the guards surrounding the South Konkan and Kerala of course. Okay. So comparison with this, so if you this is the, so the monsoon trough is low and as here monsoon trough has moved to the north and aided by the presence of a um, uh, system in Bay of Bengal, the trough is very strong and that's how we get heavy rains. So it, August 12th yesterday uh, there were there was uh, heavy rains uh, over Mumbai, uh, sorry, moderate heavy rains over Mumbai, but very heavy rains in the interior like Thane and uh, Dobibili and all those places. It's basically because of the offshore trough, very active offshore trough was there. This is again explaining the same thing from the windy chart that you have this offshore trough uh, which is very active in the Arabian Sea and the monsoon axis is, monsoon trough is here and that's why it is pulling. So you see the wind speeds very high, Somali jet wind speeds are very very high, almost 10, 12 meters per second, maybe even 15 meters per second, 15 meters per second at some places. So it will definitely push the cloud bands much interior. So how the trough helps, I have already discussed in the southern hemisphere, in the northern hemisphere, anti-clockwise anti motion gives rise to low pressure systems. So because the ridge is a dipping pattern, so that dipping pattern will create a cyclonic circulation and the cyclonic circulation will try to pull in moisture. That moisture will get updrafted because of the low pressure system and that will try to form the clouds and these cloud bands will come towards the coast because of the strong westerly winds. So IMD model here uh, on July 3rd, this was predicting offshore trough which is very strong and you can see that this offshore trough is active over mostly over North Konkan, uh, Mumbai to Ratnagiri and even Goa, not as strong in the in Kerala region because you can see the angle, the angle is basically it is favoring North Konkan and again if you draw the axis of monsoon trough, monsoon trough axis is nothing but where the westerlies and the easterly winds meet. So this is westerly and you see this is easterly winds. So where they meet is where the trough will lie. So the trough is lying a little bit north. That's why North Konkan gets heavy rains. 
and uh, this is again the same thing your trough is monsoon trough is going through this region which is north uh, which is uh, in, uh, north of its uh, i mean which is uh, in, uh, in the northern axis if this was south <clears throat> then kerala would have gotten heavy rains but since the axis is monsoon trough axis is up north so the winds will be pulled in this direction and since the winds will be pulled in this direction this is a likely zone of heavy rains if this axis was down here then the winds will be pulled from here okay winds will be pulled from here and that's why kerala and south konkan will get heavy rains all right so i hope this was uh, useful and you understood what a trough offshore trough means and what it does it is uh, just uh, some of my final thoughts it's the most important feature for west coast rains during the southwest monsoon season without the formation of this trough or the dynamics southwest uh, the southwest monsoon uh, is incomplete and uh, everybody talks about offshore trough right and, and i'm sure that you must have heard this word multiple times so now i hope you know what it is higher the wind speed stronger the trough stronger the trough more cyclonic vortices is deposited resulting in dense cloud bands and uh, form near the coast and those cloud bands will come uh, pushing towards so those cloud cloud bands will be pushed towards the land thereby giving lot of rains and sometimes when the trough is active for 2 3 days at a continuous stretch then lot of moisture is coming in and you get continuous rains for 2 days at a stretch uh, offshore trough brings a lot of moisture the reason is because it's a low pressure system it's a low pressure region a lot of uh, convergence is happening and that's why uh, you have passive cloud bands there and uh, very important is offshore trough position uh, can change south or north and its position depends on where the monsoon trough is lying or where the monsoon trough is positioned where the low pressure system in bay of bengal is forming these two things determine whether the trough is going to give rains to south konkan or kerala or north konkan uh, and its ghat sections all right so that's it uh, i hope this edu educational video was helpful uh, please uh, like this video please share it with your friends and uh, if you have any suggestions on any other, other videos please let me know the next video most likely will be on monsoon trough because that is uh, related to offshore trough dynamics so i'll talk about monsoon trough dynamics in the next video and uh, please subscribe to my channel for regular updates and regular educational videos have a good day bye